When it comes to battery-based energy storage, lithium-ion batteries are a popular choice of rechargeable battery for use in almost all the applications ranging from EVs, energy storage to portable electronics, all thanks to their high energy densities. However, there is always a risk of short circuit and fire when these batteries are encountered with overheating. The key to a significant leap in battery technology is replacing the liquid electrolyte in between the positive and negative electrodes with a much thinner, lighter layer of solid ceramic material and replacing one of the electrodes with solid lithium metal. This would greatly reduce the overall size and weight of the battery and remove the safety risk associated with liquid electrolytes, that is flammability. But replacing the liquid electrolyte with solid ceramic material is not the end of the problem. There is another issue that threatens the viability of solid state batteries and they are called dendrites. Metal dendrite penetration is a mode of electrolyte failure and is a serious safety issue in solid state batteries. Two very different breakthroughs or we should call them out of the box solutions have given a hope that these problems are closer to get solved. Hi, I'm Abhishek and you are watching Revolutionary Engineering. The first solution makes use of the stress in the solid state battery to prevent battery fire. Though it sounds counterintuitive, as the stress is something that has been found to be responsible for formation of dendrites, and we'll see how this has been made possible. But before that, let's first look at what dendrites are and how they are a problem in a lithium metal solid state battery. If you look at the structure of dendrites, they are thin, tentacle like metal filaments that can develop on the electrode of a lithium battery as it is cycled, making their way into the electrolyte to cause problems like short circuiting, undesirable heating and even fire. They are highly reactive protrusions formed when lithium ions clump on the battery's anode over the course of many charge cycles. As in a typical battery, lithium ions move back and forth in between two electrodes as the device is charged and discharged in a pool of liquid electrolyte. In case of solid state battery, they pass through the solid electrolyte. This back and forth movement of the ions causes the volume of the electrodes to change. Now since the solid electrolyte has to remain in full contact with both of the electrodes, it leads to stress in the solid electrolyte. According to Professor Yat Min Xiang of MIT, who is also the part of this research, to deposit this metal, there has to be an expansion of the volume because you're adding new mass. So there is an increase in volume on the side of the cell where the lithium is being deposited. And if there are even microscopic flaws present, this will generate a pressure on those flaws that can cause cracking. So the stresses causes the cracks and that leads to formation of dendrites. But since the dendrite formation happens within the battery and cannot be seen due to material opacity, there has been a lack of accurate understanding of the real cause behind them. Hence the researchers studied the process with an experimental electrolyte material designed to be transparent. With the transparent electrolyte, they could directly observe the phenomena and come up with new ways to prevent the formation of dendrites. The results of the experiment were quite surprising. While previously, some researchers thought that the reason behind dendrite formation was a purely electrochemical process rather than a mechanical one, the team's experiments demonstrated that the mechanical stresses were the real cause of the problem. Even more surprising was the outcome of the follow-up experiment. The team demonstrated that they could direct the growth of the dendrites by simply applying and releasing pressure, causing the dendrites to grow in a zigzag pattern in perfect alignment with the direction of the force. What it means is that mechanical stresses applied to the solid electrolyte can be used to direct the dendrites to remain parallel to the two electrodes, preventing these dendrites to ever crossing them, thus rendering them harmless. The stresses don't eliminate the formation of dendrites, but redirect their path. So the clever part of this approach is that the same stress that was the problem now becomes the solution. Many novel approaches have been brought to the table in the past to solve this problem 
But this particular approach is a breakthrough as it has brought in much clarity and understanding of the dendrite formation and more importantly, it has also laid the groundwork for a new breed of high density batteries. Now let's dive a bit deeper to understand how mechanical stress is a problem and how it becomes the solution. In a solid state battery, a different kind of stress called stack pressure is applied to the battery cell. This is done by essentially pressing the material in the direction perpendicular to the battery's plates. So you can imagine compressing a sandwich by putting a weight on top of it. It was applied with a thought to prevent the layers from separating. But the experiments have now demonstrated that the pressure in that direction makes the situation worse and the stack pressure actually accelerates dendrite induced failure. What is needed instead is pressure from the sides, that is, along the plane of the plates and not perpendicular to the plates. Now imagine a sandwich being squeezed from the sides instead of compressing it from the top. So whenever a compressive force is applied, the dendrites travel in the direction of the compression and the key is to shift this direction to prevent dendrite induced failure. For carrying out the experimental tests, the researchers used pressure induced by bending the material which was formed into a beam with a weight at one end. But in practice, many different ways can be used to produce the needed stress. For example, instead of a single layer, two different layers of material having different amounts of thermal expansion could be used for making the electrolyte. So this results in inherent bending of the material as the material with lower thermal expansion coefficient will undergo less expansion compared to the material with a higher one. Another approach could be to dope the material with atoms that would become embedded in it, distorting it and leaving it in a permanently stressed state. The experiments showed that the pressure of 150 to 200 megapascals was sufficient to stop the dendrites from crossing the electrolyte, which according to the team would not be difficult to implement as stresses of similar magnitude are induced in many other manufacturing processes. The team's next step will be to make a functional prototype battery and then figure out the manufacturing process to mass produce it. But this method is applicable only for the solid state battery. What about liquid electrolyte based lithium ion batteries? Since they are still the popular choice as a rechargeable battery for use in energy storage, EVs and other applications. So if overheating could be prevented, the biggest issue of such batteries would come to an end. The problem of overheating in lithium ion batteries is a point of concern even for the reputed EV manufacturers mainly because of multiple lithium ion cells chained together. Therefore, a thermal runaway can spread from one unit to the next resulting in very large hard to fight fire. A team of researchers from China have offered an effective solution to this problem that can swiftly put the brakes on a lithium ion battery as soon as it gets too hot. It's not the artificial intelligence that has been used but an intrinsic intelligence of a special material that remembers its shape, the shape memory material. It's called so as it exhibits a shape memory effect, a phenomenon in which a material regains its original size and shape when heated above a certain characteristic transformation temperature. The effect is widely used in shape memory alloys with nickel titanium alloy or nitinol being the most popular. They're used in wide range of applications such as temperature sensors, actuators, clamping fixtures, dentistry, and many more. So what causes this effect? There are two crystal phases for shape memory alloys known as austenite and martensite. Austenite is the SMA structure at high temperature and martensite is a structure at lower temperature. The SMA transforms from one phase to the other depending on the stress and temperature and this reversible transformation causes the shape memory effect. But instead of the alloy, the researchers used a thermally responsive shape memory polymer covered with a conductive copper spray to create a material that would transmit electrons under normal conditions but at around 90 degrees celsius, microscopic 3D pattern programmed into the polymer appeared, breaking apart the copper layer and stopping the flow of electrons. This acted as a break and permanently shut down the cell but prevented a potential fire. The polymer maintained the temporary shape until the shape change in the permanent form was activated by a predetermined external stimulus which in this case was temperature change. However, at this temperature, traditional cells kept running, putting them at a risk of thermal runaway if they became hot again. The research was published in the American Chemical Society. 
It was also observed that under normal operating temperatures, the battery incorporated with the new polymer maintained a high conductivity and cycle life similar to the traditional battery cell. Therefore, this technology could make lithium-ion batteries safer without having to sacrifice their performance. In fact, such a reliability of the shape memory polymer can make the battery 1000 times safer than the conventional batteries since the innovation is not based on any monitoring system or thermal management that may fail but uses the property of the material itself. You can see the resistance variation of the shape memory film before and after heating during the test. Innovations in battery technology are the key to increasing renewable energy contribution across the world. To know about the cutting-edge battery technologies that could be a game-changer in the near future, click on this video. And make sure to subscribe our channel for catching up with the breakthroughs in science, technology and engineering.